This is your all-in-one solution as a content creator and business owner that is not tech savvy and you know you need a website but haven't got around to it yet. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Snipfeed to have an intake form. If you don't know, Snipfeed is a link and bio site with so many different features and the feature I'm gonna be talking about today is the Q&A. So let's log in so I could show you and yes, I'm doing it on my phone because I wanna show you how simple it is. So in the menu, I'm gonna go into Q and A. As you see, I actually already have a few. So let me show you kind of what I'm trying to create for you. So this is the intake form that you can make. You can create this. It does not have to be this excessive. I'm gonna make a super simple one. So you're gonna go to create, you're gonna title it, and a quick description. Now, there's two ways to go about this. You can either tell your story or you can actually start with a quick description. Here's where you're gonna write it. Snipfeed has a little section that says respond type, meaning how are you gonna reach back out to them? So I usually say text because that means that I'm gonna respond to them in a text, but it's really up to you. And here is your cover. There's a few ways that you can do this. You can either upload a file, which is whatever you create. It so that can definitely be an option. If you're like, I literally don't have anything made, you can go to Unsplash and research something. Maybe you can put computer and see what comes up. Perfect. If I want this one, that's what will come up. I'm gonna turn off the ratings because this is, this is not working as a service. It's gonna be more of a intake form. And because it's free, I'm not putting any unless you're selling it, but you're not, you're using this as an intake form. So if you do decide to upgrade your form, you can totally customize this. If not, if you're just like, no, I have a free one, then you'll have a normal thank you for opting in message. So here is where you're gonna add your intake form questions. Whether it has to be required or not, that's what you do and you do that as many questions as you want. The thing is, I highly suggest that you make it the shorter, the better. The less resistant, the better. And another way you can use this snip feed is for testimonials. Ask a few questions. How was their experience? You could have it as feedback too. There's so many different ways you can use this. And here is a super cool part. You can either add it as a block by itself or part of a carousel. So let me show you what it looks like as a block by itself. That's what it looks like by itself right here. If it would be part of a carousel, it would be able to do this super simple and originally this was made so you can pretty much pick someone's brain to be able to get paid to pick your brain but in my case i've been able to use it as an intake form and it's worked perfectly any past requests will be right here which is absolutely perfect and i'll be able to go through them follow up with them and everything so that's what i absolutely love i hope that you use this to your advantage so you can create bio site that is effective for you and something that helps you feel professional look professional and continue to build your personal brand and business even though you don't have a website yet or you want something easier to be able to check out so i hope this helps and i'll see you in the next video